After six months of speculation, Trump just learned his life-changing fate today, it is very rare that one sees something nice written and about the president in the mainstream media. But every once in a while you will get Haley's Comet and it has dropped by again. The progressive Michael Bloomberg reported something on Friday about the fate of the president's next election. His conclusion, there is a 55% chance the president will win re-election in 2020 should he run again. Bloomberg noted that he felt part of the reason for this statistic was all the infighting within the Democratic Party. Their failure to work together to get a good candidate to be the center and face of their party. He reportedly said, they'll step on each other and re-elect Donald Trump. There is a 55% chance he gets re-elected. The notorious millionaire argued that Hillary Clinton was not a good face of the party and that her ultimate demise was a result of poor strategy and narrative. He argued that the message that one should vote for her because she's a woman and Donald Trump was bad was not good enough. In all fairness, it does not take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Newsweek didn't have such nice things to say about this prediction arguing, Bloomberg's prediction could be viewed as absurd at the moment by some, given the president's poor approval ratings so early into his time in office, as well as polls that show a growing number of Americans favoring impeachment. But, in part, Bloomberg is right about a potentially massive Democratic field that could beat up one another well before a general election more than three years from now. Bloomberg's prediction and comments were interesting because he has been an ardent anti-Trumper. He ultimately endorsed Hillary Clinton and has repeatedly labeled the president a demagogue. Politically he identified as an independent and he almost ran against Trump. Which makes his prediction of a Trump re-election surprising. His views can best be characterized as, Bloomberg, best known outside New York for his steadfast opposition to gun rights, support for taxes on soda, and the left-leaning news outlet that bears his name, has not let up on the president since Trump took office. In March, he appeared to defy the president and Congress, saying America will meet the requirements of the Paris Climate Agreement regardless of what the democratically elected government tries to do. In the past when he endorsed the former Secretary of State he said the following in a speech, Trump is a risky, reckless, and radical choice. And we can't afford to make that choice. Now, I know Hillary Clinton is not flawless, no candidate is. But she is the right choice and the responsible choice in this election. Thus, he has made quite the turnaround from just a year or so ago. His change of mind couldn't have anything to do with the widespread support the president has been receiving lately, could it? It is easy to be supportive when it is popular to be now. Business Insider reported, the billionaire businessman and philanthropist who heads Bloomberg LP and Bloomberg Philanthropies made the comment while speaking to Times columnist Frank Bruni to discuss his philanthropy's annual report. Predictions over who will run in the Democratic Party also aren't helping and are certainly fueling the fire for the argument that Democrats can't get their shit together. One reporter from AOL noted, the field for Democrats in 2020 at this point is wide open and could turn out to be quite crowded, with big names like Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Elizabeth Warren and even former Vice President Joe Biden continuing to generate buzz around possibly challenging Trump for the White House. Given Bloomberg's tumultuous history with the president he probably won't be jumping for joy to thank him for his prediction. Their backstory has been somewhat controversial. The three-term former mayor has a long and tumultuous history with the president. Despite Trump's occasional praise of his fellow NYC billionaire's time as leader of the Big Apple, things turned ugly after Trump's presidential campaign kicked off. Bloomberg, nominally an independent, spoke at the 2016 Democratic National Convention, telling the packed arena, the bottom line is, Trump is a risky, reckless, and radical choice, and we can't afford to make that choice. Trump was quick to hit back, telling ABC News, Michael Bloomberg couldn't get elected as a dog catcher in New York. With or without Bloomberg we already knew that Trump was on a roll and that he is likely going to be re-elected. The American people know when they have something good and we certainly do now in our current administration. Here is to eight more years under President Donald Trump. Share if you would re-elect the president when 2020 rolls around and it comes time to cast your personal vote. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.